It took me less than five minutes to find a huge problem in the attic of this house during an energy audit in Baltimore County, Maryland. When I arrived, the homeowner was searching for why they'd been so cold in their house for the past seven winters. They're hoping number eight can be better. They also reported that their son's room is really hot in the summer and especially cold in the winter. And overall, the house is just cold and drafty. First, I took a look around on the outside of the house. I noticed a front dormer with a room over the garage, a rear cantilever, and an older HVAC system, definitely the original from when the house was built in 1995. But is it the reason for their issues? It might not be in the way that you thought. Next, I headed inside to take a look around. When it gets colder outside, getting thermal images can sometimes help navigate a productive trip to the attic, and that's precisely what happened this time. Check out these thermal images of a wall that is shared by the master bathroom, as you can see here on this side, and also the laundry room over on the other side. These two thermal images stood out to me as I sifted through the dozen or so that I took that day. After getting a good feel for the house and how it was all put together, I headed up to the attic. Less than five minutes into my journey through arguably the most important place in a house, I found the source of the issue and likely a big part of this family's overall problem with comfort. Remember, this house has a living space over the garage. The way the house was put together created a unique situation. It's not wrong or anything. We can't blame the insulation crew for this one because they did a really good job and there are clear signs that the guys that did the work back in 95 were on point and working hard. The flaw is that modern insulation techniques have not been used in this attic, resulting in unnecessary energy loss and poor comfort for this family. Check out how the top of the wall is completely open to the attic. Consider the total area that you see just in this photo. It's easily the size of an open window. And it is exactly like having an open window, but much worse due to the way that pressure moves air in and out of a house. The reason that it goes unnoticed is because the problem is invisible. The finished wall and ceiling cover it up. Most people don't imagine that the top of their wall is open in an attic. Out of sight, out of mind. Here is another example, and it's HVAC related. To understand this one, you have to take a trip down to the furnace in the basement. This is a high efficiency furnace, and the way you can tell are the two white pipes. I want you to notice which direction those pipes travel, up, through the house, and into the attic. Check it out. Here they are again. A flaw here is that the large opening created for these important components of the HVAC are also left open at the attic floor, just like the previous example, and it's like having an open window all year round. The reason this one is really important to understand is because you're much more likely to have a problem like this one rather than the first example because most walls are closed at the top. They still have to be sealed properly, but they're typically not open. This one needs a couple of cans of foam. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. You'll learn more. Thanks for watching.